Hello, hello. I'm Cheryl. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. You found your journey yoga. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, it is absolutely beautiful outside. It's a little chilly today. Uh, a little rain in the forecast and stuff, but it's all good. Um, the sun still comes out. The flowers get the water they need and all that good stuff. So, um, but I hope you're having a great day. Uh, stepping onto the mat, you guys, to take care of yourself is really an amazing adventure. Um, it is ever-changing and um, the evolution is celebrated in little tiny baby steps. So along the way you'll notice uh, that your body doesn't fight back so much, that your breath is a little bit easier, that you're getting deeper into the stretches, that you don't struggle as much and there's this cohesive connection between your breath and your body that allows this amazing release of negative energy to happen and it is truly amazing. Um, so if you're just starting your journey or you've been into it for a little bit and you're just starting to celebrate these little changes, you guys, there's more to come. So stick with it and stay true to your practice and remember that yoga is practice. Uh, if we were to step on the mat and be able to do everything and breathe perfectly and not struggle at all, well, good job. Um, but that's not what it's about. It's about embracing a little bit of the struggle without allowing it to frustrate you and cause anxiety and the negative energy. It's about embracing the struggle and feeling the change and the release when it does happen. It's kind of like getting a really good massage. That release that happens, if you've never had a massage, go get one when they open up. Um, but it's that release that happens after a really good massage. It's very, very similar. It's endorphins that are let go. It's you just feel like a noodle. And life is good. Your, your head's clear and your body's refreshed. Same, same, same. So um, stick with it, you guys, and feel the benefits and the wonderful journey that uh, yoga has to offer for you. Uh, without judgment or criticism, without an ego as best you can, I always like to say leave your ego out the door, uh, wherever that door, window, what have you, but just let it go. Uh, a time to tune in and let go of stuff outside. Cool? All right, my friends, water's handy if you need it, a towel's handy if you need it, if you need um, any assistance as far as straps or blocks or towels or blankets, uh, make sure those are handy too. Um, an open mind, an open heart, and let's get going. Finding a space that feels good to you. A seated position can be cross-legged or otherwise. We sit up nice and tall and give those shoulders a big roll up and back and let the shoulders slide down and away. Close your eyes. As you feel those shoulders just gently slide down, feel that gentle release. If you're still feeling tension, give those shoulders a roll one more time. Take them up and back. Let those shoulders just gently slide down and away. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Turn your palms to face the sky, drip the wrists over the knees and bring your index finger to gently touch your thumb. Slow, steady breaths in and out through the nose. Let the chatter of your mind quiet. Allow yourself to be present right here within the, within the four corners of your mouth. Now let go of expectations and set an intention for today. Something that will help guide you along with your breath. Something kind and gentle to your body, your mind, your spirit. Today, mine is finding joy and positivity in every move, every breath. We turn the palms to face the shins, just below the knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale, hollow the tummy and chest, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. One more time to the back, exhale and hollow. Inhale, sit it up nice and tall, reach to the sky. As you exhale, turn to the right, tap your fingertips to the floor. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. Exhale, turn to the left, breathe. Tap the floor, inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm up and over. 
Press that left hip towards the floor. Let that left arm be heavy. Give a little push with that right hand. Lift the left side of the ribcage. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Just circle the back of your waist as far as you can. Now take your gaze way up high. Now keep that left shoulder rolled back and turn your gaze towards the floor. Tucking your chin towards your collarbone and just feel that really nice stretch through the neck. Into the shoulder. Now circle that left arm up and over. And exhale, release the tummy and chest to your thigh. Reach it out through the fingertips. Relax the weight of your head. Find your breath. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through to center. Fingertips reach out as far as you can reach. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, circle your hands back by your hips. Big circle of the arms overhead as you hinge up tall. Exhale and release that left hand to the floor. Right arm up and over. Keeping that right hip pressing towards the floor. Give a little push with that left hand. Lift the right side of your rib cage. Circling that right arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. Circle your waist as far as you can. Now give that right shoulder a roll back and lift your gaze towards the sky. Now, did you notice how you opened up just a little bit more? We want to keep open. Keep that right shoulder roll back and turn your gaze towards the floor. Tuck your chin towards that left collarbone. And we circle that right arm up and over. Exhaling and releasing the tummy and chest towards your thigh. Reaching out through those right fingertips. Relax the weight of your head. Such a nice release for that lower back, through the waist, through the ribs, into the hips. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through to center. Now stack your hands and let the forehead come towards the back of the hands. So just let that upper body weight be super heavy. Now let's extend one arm out in front and then the other. So as we extend those arms, we start to feel this stretch more through the side body and that lower back. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. How's your breath? Can you still get those big, full, deep breaths? Inhale, circle your hands back by your hips. Big circle of the arms overhead. Hinge it all the way back up. And release your hands down by your sides. We're going to open up those legs to a nice V. So it's early in the practice. Maybe the V is not quite so huge. It's fine. But extending those legs out so we start to feel a nice little stretch through the inner thigh, maybe into those hips. I want you to be mindful so that you're not leaning back, sitting back on your tailbone, but rather you're sitting up nice and tall. Almost a pelvic tick forward, if you would, rather than tipping backwards. Add a flex of your feet if that feels okay. Stretching through the calves, starting to get a little deeper stretch for the hamstrings. Inhale, reach to the sky, all the way up. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Bring your hands on either side. Kind of teepee your hands, if you would, so you're up on your fingertips. And I want you to press through the fingertips and lengthen through the crown of the head just as far as you can reach sitting up nice and tall. As much rotation as you can create. Now inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front of your feet still flexed, so activating those muscles through the quads. Turn to the left, tap the fingertips. We teepee those hands, sitting up nice and tall. So we're up on the fingertips, the pads of the fingers. We're lengthening and we're pressing the chest forward just a little bit, so lengthening through that spine. Find your breath, are your feet still flexed? So while we stretch the backs of the legs, we're activating the front of the legs. Inhale, reach to the sky. Turn back to front. Release the feet. Hands just come through to heart center and to the mat. Lengthen and reach left arm to the sky. Take it up and over. Now those feet can remain soft or if you like, flex that right foot. Breathe. So we're just letting that right arm kind of rest. Shoulder resting on the thigh. If it feels right to you, look up. Find the base of that left thumb. So stretching through the neck, lengthening through that left side of the body. Now rise all the way back up. 
and we switch. Left arm along the inside, right arm up, and over now again, feet can be soft, or you can flex that left foot. We give that right shoulder a roll back. As we let that right arm be heavy, we're gonna take our gaze up to find the base of that right thumb. Now, if your neck is not in agreement with this, this is just fine. Let your head be heavy and let that neck just relax. How's your breath? That left arm just resting. Now I want you to inhale and reach to the sky. This time both arms come up. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Pull that left leg around, well, either one. So you're gonna to come to the top of your mat and extend the legs out nice and long. Flex your feet. Inhale, reach to the sky. There is a giant beach ball on your thighs. Round over that beach ball as you hollow the tummy and chest. You're reaching towards the shins or towards your toes. Tucking the chin, lifting that spine, hollowing out through the tummy and chest. Now inhale, reach it out, swoosh that beach ball. Sit up nice and tall and release your hands. Let's sweep those feet around and come up onto all fours to a tabletop position. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. So draw that belly button in and up. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, draw your right ear towards your right hip hip towards your ear. So we're not turning our face to draw the nose towards the hip, but the ear. So we're creating that C shape with our spine. Inhale back to center, keep that belly button drawn in, and exhale, left ear, left hip. Find your breath. Use those obliques down that left side to draw the ear and the hip towards one another. Inhale it back to center. Now we're just gonna move at the pace of the breath. As you exhale, hip towards the ear, ear towards the hip. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side, left ear, left hip. Inhale it back to center. One more time each side, exhale. Inhale it back to center. And exhale, left side, last time. And back to center. Tuck your toes, lift your knees just an inch off the mat. So as we tuck the toes and we're on the balls of the feet and the pads of the toes, we get this really nice stretch through the arches of the feet, through the calves, strong through the belly. Take a big breath in and we're going to draw the bottom back towards our heels like we're going to pop forward. And as you exhale, a little shift forward as much as feels right to you. Inhale, pull it back. Draw your hips back towards your heels. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Exhale, come forward as much or as little as feels right to you. One more time. Inhale, draw those hips back towards your heels. Exhale, pressing it forward. Hold your forward. Activating core, quads, shoulders, arms. And back to that hovering tabletop. Release the knees, release the toes, sit it back to child's pose. Find your breath. That was kind of almost a Dr. Seuss rhyme. So nice. I love when those things happen unintentionally. So in our child's pose, we just find this restful place, hopefully. And you might, depending upon how tight you are, yeah, this is a good stretch for your quads. This is a great stretch for your glutes. Really nice release for your lower back. So whatever you've got going on, if you're like, what's she talking about that this is relaxing? One day, my friends, one day. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hands, shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Down dog. And believe it or not, one day, down dog could be as relaxing as child's pose. I know that seems crazy, but it's true, and it's pretty amazing when that happens. We're going to inhale it to high plank, and exhale it back to down dog. Just doing that one more time. We inhale it to high plank, and exhale it back to down dog. We keep our hips side by side. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes reach straight back. So we're gonna to work to square our hips, to lengthen through those right toes, to reach towards the back of the room, adding a flex to that right foot. Find your breath. 
And then sweep that right foot through. Back knee to the mat if you like, otherwise knee stays off. We lift our arms to a crescent lunge. That back knee can come down if you like. Shoulders are soft and away from the ears. Inhale, straighten that front leg just a little bit. You can do that with the knee down or the knee off and then sink back into that stretch. Circle the arms forward, around behind, all the way up tall. Let's bend that right elbow, right hand behind your head, left hand to the elbow and gently press. Chin staying off of the chest. Great stretch through the shoulder, the tricep, long through the belly. Great stretch to the front of that left leg. We extend both arms to the sky, sweep the arms to the back. One hand on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down, holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes straight back, hips side by side. Right heel pressing into that mat. How long can you make that left leg? Add a flex of your foot, press through that heel. And as you exhale, sweep your left foot through. Back knee to the floor, top, uh, back knee can come to the mat if you like. We come up to our crescent lunge. Shoulders are soft. So if that back knee is down, so is the top of your back foot. If the knee's off, great. Extend and lengthen, press through that back heel. Circle the arms forward, around behind, all the way up tall. Inhale, straighten that front leg just a little bit. And then as you exhale, feel yourself sink. Bending that left elbow, hand behind your head, right hand to the elbow and gently press. Chin staying off the chest. Again, nice stretch for the tricep on that left arm, through the shoulder, through the belly. Breathe. Gently release, extend both arms to the sky. Big circle of those arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend left leg to the sky and gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We gently sway our hips side to side. Nice deep breath. We come back to center, taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Soft bend in those knees so you're not locking out those legs. Find your breath. Bringing the hands to the elbows, let's hold on. Keeping a hold of those elbows, shift your weight forward into your toes. Just feel how that deepens the stretch down the backs of your legs. Now shift your weight back to your heels. Can you lift your toes? Find your breath. Shift your weight back into those toes. Now keeping a hold of the forearms and the elbows, can you reach the forearms closer to the mat? As you reach and lengthen through the spine and lengthen through the arms, trying to touch the elbows with the forearms to the mat. Do you feel that stretch all the way down the backs of the legs? Can you feel how the core engages more as your weight shifts? Now center your weight, relax the arms, and slowly roll yourself up. Just take your time and breathe. With a big shoulder roll up and back, shoulders slide down and away. Let's do that again. Big shoulder roll up and back, shoulders slide down and away. Let's pull the hands to heart center. Let's shift our weight to our left foot, crossing the right foot in front of the left leg, big toe just barely touching the floor. And if you like, slowly begin to slide that right foot up above the knee. 
ankle to the outside of the knee, and then roll that right knee open. Core is strong. Hands can remain at heart center or extend those arms to the sky. And if you like, begin to sit it back. A little or a lot. Find your breath. Breathe. Now, if you liked the arms overhead as you were standing, but maybe it's better to have those arms out to shoulder height, rotating your palms to the sky, or perhaps you just pull them in to heart center. If the arms remain overhead, just be mindful that you're not causing undue tension in the neck and the shoulders. Let's slowly rise. Pulling the hands to heart center, lifting that right knee to 90 degrees. Breathe. Extend the arms out to a T. Core strong, begin to press that right foot straight back. Now we're gonna take a giant step back, placing the back heel to the mat, arms travel overhead to a warrior one. Now that can be a tricky way to get into your warrior one, so take a moment and find your perfect warrior one. Feel the length and the strength in that back leg. Shoulders are soft. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Bring the palms to touch, interlace the fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Lengthen and reach to the fingertips and as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward. Breathe. Pressing through that back heel, lengthening through the fingertips. Strong through the belly. We inhale and rise, keeping those hips facing front. As you exhale, arch it back. Letting those arms be as heavy as feels good to you. Pressing that back heel into the mat. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Pulling the hands to heart center. We shift our weight forward, coming up onto the ball of the back foot. And as we come forward, lifting up onto that left leg, right knee to a 90 degree bend and flex your foot. Extending left arm out to a T, right hand supporting underneath that right knee. If you like, begin to extend your leg. If it feels good to you, reach out. Slide your hand down the back of the leg, or perhaps you take a hold of your big toe with your first two fingers and your thumb. Chest remains lifted. If you like, whether the leg is straight or the leg is bent, begin to open the leg out to the right. Breathe. Find that breath. Use your focal point. Slowly drawing that right leg back to center. Bringing the hand to support behind the thigh. Bending that right knee. Pulling both hands to heart center. And release your foot down. Roll out your ankle, stretch your toes. Get rid of the wiggles with the arms. Clear your head. And pull the hands to heart center. We shift our weight now to our right foot. Left foot crosses just in front of the right. Big toe just barely touching the mat. Breathe. Feels right to you. Start to slide that left foot up above the knee. Ankle to the outside of the knee and roll that left knee open. So we're just working to feel solid, strong through that supporting foot. If it feels right to you, you can keep your hands at heart center or extend those arms overhead. Core is strong, chest stays lifted. We begin to sit it back. A little or a lot. Find what's right for you. Feel that amazing stretch in that left hip. Now again, you can bring the arms down to shoulder height, turn your palms to the sky. You can pull those hands in to heart center. Or you can keep those arms extended overhead. Maybe a little rotation of those palms towards the back just to spice things up a little bit. And let's rise. Lifting that left knee to 90 degrees. Hands to heart center. Breathe. Extend those arms out to a T. And slowly press that left foot straight back. And we're going to take that giant step back. Come into our warrior one. Back heel to the mat. Outside edge of that left foot pressing into the mat. Arms overhead. So feel that length down that left leg. Can you feel that stretch in the calf? Hips facing forward, chest facing forward, shoulders soft. 
bring the palms to touch, interlace the fingers all with the index finger and thumb. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward. Long diagonal line down the back of the body. Gazing out in front of those right toes, pressing through that back heel. Long and strong. We inhale and rise, keeping those hips facing front. Exhale, arch it back, a little or a lot. Breathe. And inhale it back up. Pull the hands to heart center. Let's shift our weight forward. Again, coming onto the ball of the back foot. And we rise, coming up onto that right leg. Left knee to 90 degrees. And flex your foot. Extending your right arm out to a T. Left hand underneath to support behind that left thigh. Find your breath. If you like, begin to extend your leg. This makes me laugh. I had no idea my leg was that short, but it's that short. Now we can keep that hand where it is or slide your hand down towards your foot through the back of the calf or perhaps taking a hold of the big toe with your first two fingers and your thumb. Chest remains tall, whether the leg is straight or that knee is bent. You are welcome to open the leg out to the side a little or a lot. Breathe. So again, strong and solid through that supporting foot. Find your breath. Slowly drawing the leg back towards center. Bringing the hand to support behind the thigh. Bending that left knee. Pulling the hands to heart center. And gently release it down to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. That seriously made me laugh. I had more, no idea. I thought for sure I was going to kick the window. But no luck. Short legs, I tell you. So we're holding our plank. We're lifting out of the shoulders. You can be on your knees or your toes. Find your breath. Let's open up those feet a little bit wider than the width of your mat. Hold your plank. Draw that belly button in and up. Remember, you can always lift your hips, but do your best. Don't let them sag. Let's open up those hands, a little wider than the width of your mat, a little more challenging. Find your breath, really challenging. Let's take a diagonal step forward with each hand. So now your hands are out in front of those shoulders. Breathe. Now we'll close those feet. Breathe. Shaky's good, guys. Pull the hand underneath you, and then the other. Back to your plank. Now let's super slow. Crocodile down. Shoulders right over those fingertips. Slow and steady. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels sink. The end of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. We shift our weight back to our heels, head is heavy, core is strong. We take a big breath in and as you exhale, we're going to bend the knees and lower our bottoms just as low as feels right to you. So if you're taking care of your knees, make sure you are doing just that. Take care of those knees. Now as you exhale, extend the legs. Weight is still in those heels, you should be able to lift those toes. A full extension, best you can. Keep the weight in the heels, keep those toes lifted, inhale, bend the knees. Now this time, if you like, lift your arms to shoulder height. Exhale, hands down, extend those legs. So we're gonna do this one more time, and you guessed it, if it feels right. Yep, we go low with the bottom, we go high with the arms. Now if that's not right, it's just not right. No judgment, no criticism. Exhale, hands down, Extend the legs and roll it up. With a big shoulder roll at the top, shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll up and back, shoulders slide down and away. Let's take a giant step back with whatever fit you need to. 
to open up towards me and extend those arms out to a T. Turn your toes out to the outside corners of your mat and it's a nice wide stance. So narrower, not so much um, unless you are taking special care of hips or you're just not comfortable with a wide, wide stance. But ultimately we're working towards a wing stance. So wing stance is when those ankles are right below the wrists. So nice and wide. We rotate palms to the sky, inhale, reach to the sky, sunflowers. Exhale, grand plie down, bend the knees, keep the chest tall, sweep the hands towards the floor, and then reach and squeeze your way to the top. Exhale, grand plie down. We're going to do five of these. So big, full, deep breaths. Staying strong through the belly, long through the limbs, deep into those legs. So we're getting into the hips. We're strengthening those quads, those glutes. We're finding balance. We're finding extension through the spine, out through the tips of the fingers. Breathe. Last one. This time stay low and pull the hands to heart center. Find a focal point out in front of you and lift your right heel. Breathe. Release the right and lift your left. So firing up those big muscles in the legs to help build heat toning those calves, challenging balance and core strength. Release that left heel. Find that focal point out in front. We're going to lift both heels. Breathe. Now interlace your fingers and press your palms out towards me. Now if it feels right to you, lift your arms overhead. Shoulders soft and away from the ears. Are your heels still lifted? Keep those heels lifted and begin to extend the legs. A little or a lot. Balance. Strength. Now keep those heels lifted and slowly bend those knees. Sink. Can you feel all those little stabilizing muscles? Working hard, slowly lower the arms to shoulder height. Pull the hands into heart center. This is going to feel good, guys. Release the heels. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. Hinge forward all the way over. Release your hands. Rock back to the heels. Turn your, turn your toes towards one another. A little bit of a pigeon toed stance with your feet. Bringing the hands to the outsides of the ankles. Use the strength of your arms to start to pull the body towards that space. Now you saw I might have, um, you have, might have to narrow your feet a little bit if the crown of the head comes to the floor before you're ready for it to. With those shorter legs, yes, mine comes pretty quickly. So if you need to adjust the, the width of your stance, do so. Use the strength of those arms to pull that upper body towards that space. Now a little shift of your weight forward into the toes, deepening the stretch through the heels, through the calves, through the backs of the legs. Now gently release the arms, let them hang. Now rock back to the heels and turn your toes back out. And we're going to inhale lifting halfway up. So supporting with the hands, take a big breath in and bend that left knee. We're going to come down to where the bottom is in line with the knee, no lower. That right sole of the foot stays pressing into the mat. As you exhale, straighten that left leg. As you inhale, bend the right knee, bottom comes no lower than your knee. Nice long stretch through the inner thigh of that left leg. One more time, inhale, back to center. Exhale, left knee bends, bottom comes down. Just to knee height, right sole of the foot stays on the mat. Nice long stretch down that inner thigh of the right leg. And rise, one more time to the right. Inhale, bend that right knee, bottom no lower than knee height. And breathe. Inhale and rise. Now we're going to walk our hands to that left foot. And we're going to let the heels lift and spin on the balls of the feet to come towards the top of your mat or the bottom of your mat, whichever it is. And we come into a runner's lunge. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift your hips, straighten that front leg, back heel down, front toes lift, square your hips, and draw your nose towards your knee. Inhale back to your runner's lunge. We're going to do that one more time. Exhale, lift your hips, straighten that front leg, back heel down, front toes lift, nose towards your knee. Square those hips. Should feel a pretty intense stretch down the back of that left leg. And inhale that back 
to that runner's lunge and let's bring both hands to the inside of the foot. Find your breath. Feels right to you, come down onto your right forearm. Maybe your left forearm. Now maybe it's better for you to have that back knee down or the knee off. Find what's right. Make sure you can still breathe deeply. If you're shaky, that's okay. If there's pain involved, that's not okay. Get rid of the pain. Discomfort of a good stretch is fine, so knowing the difference is important. And we come back up to the palms of the hands. One hand on either side of your foot. If that back knee's down, lift the knee. And we're going to walk those hands back to center. So just kind of rolling onto that left heel and coming back to center, turning those feet out, toes out to that 45 degrees and relax the weight of the upper body down. Gravity. No tension, just using gravity. And let's inhale halfway up. And now walk your hands to the right. And we turn those feet to face front, coming into a runner's lunge. Take a big breath in, adjust however you need to, and as you exhale, lift your hips, straighten that front leg. Back heel down, front toes knit, lift, square your hips, nose toward your knee. Inhale back to your runner's lunge. One more time, exhale, lift your hips, straighten that front leg, square those hips, draw your nose toward your knee. And inhale it back to your runner's lunge, bringing both hands to the inside of your foot. Again, at any point, if you want to bring that back knee down, feel free. Remember, this is your journey. And if it feels right, come down onto your left forearm. So check it in before you just jump right in. It doesn't have to be an all or none. So you can literally just start to bend the elbow and not necessarily get it to the floor or bring it to the floor and let some weight to be resting on that forearm. So just listen to your body and find out what's right. Maybe come down onto your right forearm. So this should feel like love to your hips, guys. This should not feel like torture. If it's torture, back off. If it's torture, you'll never come back. If it's love, you're like, oh my goodness, my body needs this so badly and you will come back. And that's my goal, is I want you guys to come back as often, as often, often, often as you can. And let's come back up to the palms of the hands. One hand on either side of your foot. If that back knee is down, lift it up, press through that back heel. And now let's slowly walk those hands back through to center, and we're gonna spin those heels back out. Hands supporting underneath us, core is strong. We're gonna get a deeper stretch into that hip because we've given those hips lots of love. So take a big breath in, and as you exhale, start to bend that left knee. This time, we're gonna let the bottom come down, and we're gonna let the right toes lift, lifting the chest. So our hands are here for support, or if you like, extend those arms out in front. Breathe. So we wanna make sure that this left knee is pointing towards the sky. So if you are coming forward and your knee is way out over your toes and your heel has lifted, we're missing the fundamentals of this pose. So sole of the foot on the floor, left knee pointing towards the sky. Beautiful long stretch through the inside of that right leg. Here, we're working the core muscles a little bit more and we're using gravity a little bit more. If you're like not in a million years, use the support, you guys. Breathe. Release your hands, extend the legs, walk those hands back through to center. Make sure those right toes are turned out. Core is strong and now we bend that right knee. Now you can come back to where your bottom is just knee height, that's fine. Or if you like, bring your hands underneath you, let that left toes, the left toes lift. Now that right knee over the ankle pointing straight to the sky. If you are forward and that knee is out over the toes and the heel has lifted, back off. Okay, lift your bottom a little bit more. Come back to where the bottom is in line with the knee or just a little bit lower. That's perfect. Again, if you like, keeping the support down or extending the arms out. How about that left foot? Can you flex it? What do you feel? Where do you feel it? If you are wanting to make gestures at me or say things, you can. I won't know, but I'll feel it in the energy in the universe. I'm just kidding. It's fine, but I get it because this is a challenging pose. Release your hands and extend it back up. Walk your hands back to center and relax the weight of the upper body down. 
Let's heel toe those feet in to where the feet are hip width apart. Toes pointing straight ahead, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Let's bend the knees and let the tummy and chest come to rest on your thighs. Bringing the hands around behind your back, interlace your fingers. Now if you can bring the palms to touch, great. If you're like, I can't even get my fingers to interlace and you happen to have a towel or a strap handy, grab that, take a hold of it on either end. Use that support. If you're able to, keep those palms together. And let's roll those shoulders up and back, lifting your hands towards the sky. So with that soft bend in the knees, we're not locking out those knees. And we're really focusing on the stretch in the shoulders and the chest. We're still feeling some love going on through the backs of the legs, but not quite so much. But if you like, you can start to straighten those legs a little or a lot. Again, just don't lock out the legs. And let's slowly bring the hands to the small of the back, either rolling up or lengthen through the crown of the head. We hinge up. So either rolling up or hinging, if you're taking care of your back, roll it up. And as you exhale, arch it back, reach your knuckles towards the floor, open your chest. Great stretch all the way down the front of the body. And inhale it up nice and tall. Release your hands, roll those shoulders up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Let's turn to step back to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, sip or hop to high plank. Breathe, hold your plank, slow and steady. We're gonna slowly lower down. Toes or knees, elbows pointing straight back, shoulders over those fingertips. Slowly we release it down. Press it through up dog and sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Sit bones back towards your heels. Nice big deep breaths. If you need a little extra time, please take whatever time you need. As you're ready, walk your hands up to tabletop. Core is strong. We're gonna extend left leg straight out to the side. Sole of the foot to the floor. We shift our weight to our left hand. Right hand is gonna sweep through, reaching out towards those left toes. Shoulder to the floor, side of the head to the floor. We rotate our bodies and extend left arm to the sky. Reaching up as high as you can reach. So we've created a 90 degree bend with our arms. Now, as you exhale, we're gonna open up that angle, allowing that left arm to open out to the side. As the tummy and chest turn towards the sky and gravity takes a hold of that arm, can you feel that amazing stretch throughout your entire spine? Breathe. So we are working to get both shoulders to the floor. It's probably not gonna happen today if it does, send me a picture. I want to see it. Breathe. But really, it's just about letting go, guys. A feeling that release through the gravity. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky. And slowly release your hand down. Press yourself back up. And draw that left leg in. And now that right leg is going to extend out to the side. I'm just going to show you a different view. So that right sole of the foot stays pressing into the mat. We shift our weight to our right hand. Now that left hand is going to reach through. We're going to reach out towards the toes. Shoulder to the floor, side of the head to the floor. We rotate our bodies and extend right arm to the sky. So we should already start to be feeling this great stretch kind of behind that left shoulder blade through that middle back. It should feel really good, you guys. So creating space in that area, that's a hard spot to really stretch. Now, as you exhale, keep the length in that right arm as you allow gravity to start to pull that right arm open. As we turn the tummy and chest towards the sky, that left sole of the foot still remains on the floor. I'm sorry, that right sole of the foot. Close your eyes and just breathe.
So this is one of those where you embrace the struggle, but if you feel your struggle and you're kind of tensing up, the struggle's real, but we want to let it go. Let gravity take a hold of that struggle. You just release it. No place we're supposed to be or have to be today. Inhale, lift that right arm back to the sky, and then slowly release that right hand down, pressing it back up, and draw that right knee back in. And let's sit it back to child's pose. Find your breath, slow it down. Again, taking all the time you need as you're ready. Walk your hands up, come over onto one hip, sweep your feet around, and slide on down to the top of your mat. Extending the legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky. As you exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward, tummy down, chest down, hands, and then relax the weight of your head. Nice, big, deep breaths. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Pull the soles of the feet together. Knees open out nice and wide. And we come into a butterfly stance. Sitting up tall, interlace your fingers and slide those hands underneath the outside edge of your foot. If that just doesn't work for you, you have shorter arms, it just doesn't feel right, just take a hold of those ankles. Roll those shoulders back and press those knees out. So can you feel the length in your spine? We wanna keep that length in the spine. As you take a big breath in, see if you can grow a little taller. And as you exhale, begin to hinge forward. So you are hinging from your hips rather than your waist. So I want you to notice no hollowing out through the chest or the tummy. It's the length and I'm almost pressing my chest forward and drawing my shoulder blades back and towards one another. Breathe. So I'm using the strength of the arms, pulling those feet kind of towards me without allowing them to come off the floor. Now lengthen through the crown of the head and slowly rise. Now release your hands and let your feet slide forward a little bit. Now just round forward. So just super easy. Doesn't necessarily have to be lengthening through the crown of the head. We just allow ourselves to melt all the way over. So both wonderful stretches, just different. And can you honor the difference between the two? Can you feel the difference between the two? I sure can. Now starting at your tailbone, slowly roll yourself up. One vertebra at a time. Hands slide up those shins as you sit up nice and tall. Extend those arms out, slow and steady. Now this is a little more challenging than when those legs are just out long. Soles of the feet stay together. You're gonna feel the knees kind of coming together as you lower yourself down. Now as you pull the heels in, let your knees open out wide, recline the butterfly. Rest your hands wherever you like. Now let's slowly draw the knees towards one another. Feet are gonna be right up by your bottom, about hip width apart. Hands come down by your sides, palms to the floor. We tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat and we start to press through our heels as we lift our hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the floor, one vertebra at a time, we come up to bridge pose. Knees right in line with those hips. Squeeze your buns and breathe. We bring the hands behind our backs and interlace our fingers, working to get full extension of the arms out behind us. If you are able to get full extension of those arms, you're ready to move on if you'd like to do so. Otherwise, stay right here. If you're ready to do so and you'd like to move on, roll your shoulders underneath you one at a time, helping to stack those shoulders underneath us, helping to lift those hips even higher. Knees right in line with those hips. Sometimes they want to flare out to the side. Resist that. Now, if you like, start to walk your feet back towards your hands. If at some point you can feel your heels against the backs of your hands, you are welcome to take a hold of your ankles. You do not have to. Find your breath, squeeze your buns, lift those hips. Releasing the hands, unrolling one shoulder at a time, and then slowly, slowly releasing back down. 
one vertebra to the mat at a time. Till your bottom is the very last to touch. Extend your arms out to a T and just gently let both knees fall to the left. As you turn your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes. Here comes the rain. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's kind of perfect. Slowly draw those knees back to center, gaze to the sky, and then gently let both knees fall to the right. And turn your gaze out over that left arm. So this really nice stretch through the waist, through the hip, down that IT band, And slowly draw those knees back to center, gaze to the sky. We cross that right foot over the left, just above the knee. And we'll pull the knees in, reaching that right hand through that little window. Interlace your fingers behind that left thigh. Use the strength of your arms to start to pull those legs in. Nestle your shoulder blades back down against the mat. Nice, beautiful stretch for that right hip. If you like, extend that left leg and flex your foot. Now we can keep that upper body down, or if you like, engaging those core muscles, lifting the upper body, drawing your nose towards that left knee. If that puts too much strain through the neck, thus doesn't feel good, lower that upper body back down. Slowly releasing that upper body back down, bending that left knee. Release your hands, place your left foot to the floor. Now we're going to keep that right knee pressed out, kind of like a number four, and we're going to slowly lower both knees to the left again. Only this time, we're going to work to try and put that right sole of the foot against the earth. Now it may or may not. Now I want you to notice that right knee, if it's falling forward closer to the mat, so it's collapsing in, I want you to work to press it out. So we're really strengthening through the hips, through that pelvic floor, while you're getting this really nice stretch. Find your breath. So the arms are extended out to a T and we take our gaze out over that right arm. So different kind of stretch for that lower back, different stretch for the hip, through the groin. So just listen to what your body's telling you. Now take your gaze back towards the sky and slowly come back to center. Placing that right foot to the floor, right by your bottom, left foot crosses just above the knee. We pull the knees in towards the chest, reach your left hand through that little window, interlace your fingers behind that right thigh. Use the strength of the arms to pull those legs in, and now nestle the shoulder blades against the mat. Can you feel that awesome stretch in that left hip? Breathe, feels so good. Extending that right leg, and flex your foot. Breathe. Again, if you like, we can keep that upper body down or engaging the core. We lift the upper body, drawing your nose towards that right knee. Make sure you're still breathing. This is one of those where it's easy to hold your breath here. Just make sure you're still breathing. Slowly release that upper body back down, bending that right knee. Release your hands, place that right foot to the floor. Now we're going to press that left knee out and away. And we're going to work to get that left sole of the foot to the floor as we roll the knees to the right. So again, may or may not come to the mat. It's fine either way. If it's hovering above, that's fine. I want you to be mindful of that left knee. If it's collapsing towards the floor, open it up as best you can. Now we can turn our gaze out over that um, left arm. You can rest your right hand wherever you want it to be. You can have it extended out to a T. So it's really not about that right hand. But I want you to be aware of your breath, of your back, of your hips. Pressing that left knee out and away. Slowly turn your gaze back towards the sky and slowly draw those knees back towards the sky. Pulling your left knee in towards your chest and then the right. Hands to your shins just below your knees and just gently rock side to side. And we come back to center. 
Slowly releasing the feet to the mat. Soles of the feet come together, knees open out nice and wide. Back to our reclined butterfly. Resting your hands wherever you wish. Now if reclined butterfly isn't super comfortable for you, you are more than welcome to extend those legs out and come to corpse pose. I want you to find a comfortable place. So that might be reclined butterfly, it might be corpse pose, maybe it's on your side, or perhaps it's up in a seated position. I want you to find a place that feels good to you, whatever that place is. Now make whatever adjustments you need to make to find that comfortable place and to allow your body to settle in. And as your body settles in, our eyes are softly closed and our breath just flows effortlessly. We visualize a light within us, a warm, glowing light. Noticing the color of this light. That color gently shifts to purple. A healing, calming, wonderful energy color. Purple helps to mend, to strengthen, and to heal. And that beautiful purple light travels from the crown of the head through the body, healing, mending. wonderful sound of the rain, clearing away any and all negativity. Nature's gift to help things grow, to nurture, to heal. And as that beautiful purple light comes back to the mind's eye, it begins to shift to orange. That beautiful, glowing orange light, much like a bright sun in the sky, energizing, helping to encourage growth, flourishing, new beauty everywhere. And that beautiful orange light passing through the body helping to energize to warm and slowly slowly that orange light comes back to the mind's eye and begins to shift to white this beautiful clean glowing white light representing a fresh start a new day and new beginnings. We embrace this fresh start. Whether that be the beginning of a new day, the awakening from a nap, the change of an attitude, you can have a fresh start anywhere, anytime. This is yours right here, right now. We stay here for just a moment. Calm, quiet. With just a few moments to just simply breathe. Slowly, gently, we begin to deepen our breath, to wiggle our fingers and our toes, and to bring our awareness back for the wonderful sound of nature around us, the 
falling rain. Feeling the weight of our bodies against the earth. And as you're ready, gently drawing your knees in towards your chest and either rolling to one side or rocking yourself up. Taking the time you need and however it's meant for you, coming up to a seated position that feels right. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Take big, deep breaths in and out through the nose. And as we bring our practice to a close, I always like to finish with just a few words. These words are always for you to carry with you or to just let float on by. Kind words or a friendly gesture cost us nothing, but to the recipient could mean the whole world. Let's gently open the eyes, take a big breath in, reach to the sky, and exhale, pull the hands to heart center. As always, you guys, my wish for you is health, happiness, an amazing day, and just stay kind, stay true, do what you need to do to take care of yourselves and your loved ones and your neighbors and the people around you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Be well, stay strong, stay open, stay kind, stay you. Until the next time, namaste. I hope that was a great class for you guys, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Um, remember always, if you have comments, if you have feedback, if you have questions, um, if you have any suggestions, please, I love suggestions. Give me ideas of what you guys are needing, wanting, because I always check in with you guys know um, when we're in person, but I don't get to do that here. So I'm just guessing of what energy is out there in the universe. So if you do have specific things, I'm always open to that. Um, and again, um, I just want to say a quick thank you for uh, the amazing support that you guys are throwing out there um, for me in what I do and what I love, um, both by uh, watching, um, passing it along, sharing it with your friends and family and neighbors and co-workers. That means the world to me, you guys. I would love to touch as many lives as possible and help change everybody's life for the better. That's why I feel like I was put on this earth. So hopefully I'm doing a good job. Um, but again, feedback, comments, um, questions, um, I have, um, based on um, people's requests, I have put links uh, on all of the descriptions to the videos if you do want to support, um, donate, or what have you um, on each of those videos. So if you have anything um, for me, just please pass it along. Take care of yourselves and be well, you guys.